Hey everybody, that's Darren again. Uh, I've been requested by a friend to uh, make a little honing video. By no means am I an expert. I can just get an edge that I like to shave off of. It's smooth and it works. So this is kind of what I do. I've got a uh, Joseph Allen and Sons near wedge. Some of you are going to kill me, but I'm not using tape, so I just didn't like the feel of tape. Sorry. Um, you can see some of the home wear. It's my razor. I like it. The tape, I was just, it was starting to shred on everything, and I couldn't get it lined up perfectly. So that's why I went ahead, talked to someone that knows what they're doing, and I just, I don't like I don't like tape so anyways um, this has a little bit of a warp to it so I'm gonna I have to do a little bit of a, a little bit of a rolling stroke here to get the heel and this heel and this part of the toe anyways so I've already lapped my 3k uh, Naniwa or Naniwa whatever you want to call it I've left a little bit of slurry on there, and I'm going to try to go, I went from a 1200 King, I'm going to go to this 3K, hopefully I'm going to try to go and finish from the 3K on the ILR, make it build up a big slurry and go from there. So, let's try to get this going. So, a few heel leading forward strokes. And some of you guys probably do a better job than me. Normally, if it doesn't have a lot of warp, I just go back and forth. But this one, I've got to pay really close attention to the uh, warp on it. So that's why I'm doing this rolling. When I mean rolling, I'm just putting pressure on the heel, and then as I kind of come across the stone, I'm just trying to focus that pressure down the line. Anyway, so Steve, I hope you like this, and uh, I hope it answers some of your questions. Like I said, I'm by no means any kind of expert. I've already got a nice little swarf going here. So, anyway, if anybody has any tips, I'm always open. You guys should know that by now. Anyways. Hope you're doing good, Steve. It's a beautiful day out here in Texas. Wind's starting to pick up, as usual. Of course, it's spring in Texas, so the wind's not blowing, something ain't right. Anyways, I may have to adjust this stupid where I've got this set up. It's already pretty smooth feeling, but and Steve, I'm still trying to you know fine tune everything myself. So, but this one's a little bit different than what I've done on my gold dollars or my little I IXL I have, or even the uh, JR Tory that I, I have. So this one's kind of a learning experience for me too. So, I know you guys that use tape on your near wedges and all that are going to criticize me. I don't care. My blade, my face. Now, 
I've been using decent little pressure right here to make sure it hits. But you really, on the blade it doesn't warp, Steve. You just want enough pressure that it stays on the stone, spine and the, your edge. That's sticking pretty good. You can do circles, whatever you feel like, you know, that you like to do. Normally, I like circles. But this blade just uh, doesn't seem to want to respond to them, so I'm not using them on this particular one. Anyways, so just adding that little bit of water to the blade and letting it come up here is kind of diluting this down. And hopefully you can see that I'm kind of kind of doing a. 45 degree angle with the blade set like this on the stone and as I come down I'm just a little bit so and the lighting in here is not the best and that little trouble area on the heel on this direction I'm just adding some little bit of pressure right there at it and I'm just doing little short half strokes to make sure I get it. it seemed to work on a 12k or not 12k the 1200 king and I'm gonna try not to stay on each stone for a very long time I think that's one of the problems I've had not so much had as I just spend way too much time on one stone and I don't get any more benefit out of it once once that edge is at that particular level. So just trying to make sure I hit the whole edge. And I used a sharpie when I was setting the bevel on this one. Use a sharpie across the edge. Made a few back and forth strokes, you know, the Japanese half stroke, whatever. It's coming back and forth. Took a look at the edge and I could already tell that there wasn't part of it getting hit. So then I modified the stroke until I got removing all of that Sharpie and then I knew what it liked, you know. Like in this direction, it likes to have that little bit of a swoop there at the end to get that toe. Side man, that, that heals a pain. Otherwise, it's fun. Can't wait till I get this honed up. Give it a nice little test shave. See what happens. So I'm gonna kind of keep this one at about 15 minutes. There's really nothing else for me to say, Steve. Make sure you're hitting that edge. And if not. Keep going till you do. You know, there's better people out there, like Danny, Bill T, Anthony Esposito. So all those guys are way more experienced than I am. I just know what seems to work for me so far but I'm still learning
you see all that? So, I know it's removing metal. Let's just hope that it's good enough. We'll see. Hope this helps you out any. If not, sorry man. <laughs> I done told you I'm not. I'm not all that good at it. But I can get an itch I like to shave off of. And to me, that's a success. Anyway, I'm going to keep going with this for a little bit longer. Steve, you wanted a video. That's for you, buddy. Anyways, I'm going to try to finish up here and go to ILR, and I'll probably add in that, a video to that as well. So have a good day, and I'll see you shortly. Bye-bye.